My name is Lucy Williams and I'm in San Diego, California. How you doing? <laughs> I'm acting a teeny bit goofy right now because it's important for me to be able to keep my spirits up as a result of I'm watching my squirrel. <laughs> They're fighting over a breadcrumb. <laughs> you know, it's gotten to the point where I've named three squirrels and about six birds. You wouldn't believe. You know what the birds are actually doing in the morning? Literally, if I ever sleep, one of them, he's got a long beak like this. He literally gets on the other side of my tent and will flap his wings to, to, and he makes sure that the wings literally hit the tent to wake me up. This is no lie. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. And why am I making this video? Well, I want to help you understand something. I'm gonna, I am what is known as a targeted individual. Now, targeted individuals like me have been covered on national radio shows like George Norrie, uh, Coast to Coast. And when you listen to some of his radio shows and he talks about different things that aren't covered on mainstream news or mainstream radio stations, you might think to yourself, oh my gosh, this is a crazy radio show. That's not true. A lot of coast-to-coast -coast radio shows have covered very good in-depth coverage. Excuse me. Okay, so don't dismiss uh, the electronic harassment and organized stalking and gang stalking targets that have been covered on coast-to-coast. In fact, let me show you a book here concerning a targeted individual that was covered on Coast to Coast on 2-14-13. He wrote a book. And the only way you're going to be able to understand this book is by going to the bottom of Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance and look at the three PDF links. Notice he's got an implant in his head. Now, David Larson, he's the head of the Yucca Valley Water Board. He's another targeted individual. Okay, James Walbert. Okay, he's the only one that has ever really gotten any any uh, help from any uh, person in our government. Uh, Representative Jim Guest helped him. We've been covered on the Jesse Ventura Brain Invaders show. We've been covered on uh, local news broadcast. And even though some of the coverage has been marginalized, any coverage will do as long as it's at least bringing this to the public attention in reference to targeted individuals being targeted with organized stalking and or gang stalking. You can go to YouTube and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids for a good preliminary introduction in reference to how these crimes have been covered even on the local news broadcast. Now, I'm making this particular video because I already know for a fact that some specific San Diego police officers had been, have been directly involved in the gaslighting of me, the protecting of the fact that I was assaulted on an MTS bus, and then MTS had the audacity to send me an altered video, okay? But I want to make this statement because, you know, my father was Chief MP to General Curtis LeMay, and I wanted to be a police officer from a lot of my young adult years, okay? And when I became an open target of this crime, and when I started seeing how police officers in, in Michigan wouldn't file a police report, and then when they did, they started putting things in police reports that had absolutely nothing to do with anything I attempted to report, while discrediting me, I strongly started, I mean, common sense deliberations automatically scrutinized that there was something more going on here than just average street punks gaslighting me and harassing me, okay? And then over a matter of years, I totally 100% connected it together that the fire department and the, Sandy, and the Michigan police, some Michigan police officers were involved in it. But I want to make this statement because I already know for a fact that not all police officers are involved in gang stalking. So if there's any, any, any ever, and I don't know if this is going to matter to you or not, but if there's any San Diego police officers out there, in fact, you know what one did? I think it was, it was, oh God, when was it? It was, it's been at least six months. One, one pulled up their car when I was blocking on my bike. I had to go to Hillcrest Medical Center to get uh, treatment for poison ivy. Um, and one pulled up in his car, and as he walked by me, when I was locking up my bike outside of the Hillcrest Medical Center, as he walked by me, he looked at me, he looked at me right in the eye, and he said, thank you. And I just nodded my head, and, you know, I don't know how he knew I was there, so I don't know what that was really all about, but... I do know, though, that there are a lot of, I do know, though, that there's a lot of innocent, law-abiding, uncorrupted police officers out there. So when you might see my videos over time, and you hear me bashing the San Diego police, I'm not trying to imply that all San Diego police officers are involved in these criminal expeditions, because I don't believe they are. But I'm also not naive. I also know that the syndicated ones will lie to the ones who aren't to get their assistance. If they, if they ever feel they need it, because this is the heinous nature of these criminals that are in the San Diego Police. 
I am not, I do not have an attitude to where I have any bad feelings at all against any uncorrupted police officer. In fact, when Jerry Hen, uh, Jeremy Henwood died, that happened within a day after I arrived in San Diego for the first time since 2006. I think he was killed on August 9th. I arrived on August 8th, and I went to his funeral. I stayed off to the side, but I went there because something in my intuition, something in my gut, in my stomach, told me he was a good guy, and it turned out he, it turned out he was. Um, so you know, if anybody wants to say that 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 I hate police officers, it couldn't be furthest from the truth. In fact, you can go to Google and YouTube and type in how the Hemet Police Gang Squad was being gang stalked in Riverside County, along with some public officials. So you know, I just want you to know that I'm not involved in any illegal activity whatsoever. I'm not crazy in any way, shape, or form. But I do know this, and I can look you straight in the eye and tell you this. I know it for a little fact that specific San Diego police officers have been involved in the gang stalking of me. And they will do anything, including using multi-jurisdictional cooperation based on lies with either Sheriff Department's personnel or California Highway personnel based on lies or the fact that there's syndicated police officers in those law enforcement branches as well. And I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm an extremely educated, seasoned target. And I'm smart. If I wasn't smart, I'd already be dead or locked up. But understand this and be clear. You can go to YouTube and type in 2 forward slash 20 forward slash 13 learning disabled woman catches another gang stalker admitting sense of harass. Then go to YouTube and type in learning disabled woman catches gang stalker admitting sense of harass. Then go to YouTube and type in learning disabled woman brutally assaulted on an MTS bus. And look what happened to me as a result of me exposing what I was just going through from August 8, 2011 up till October 10, 2011. And why is the MTS video of me being assaulted altered? And why won't the San Diego Police, uh, San Diego District Attorney's Office investigate it? The only thing I can tell you is the truth. And I don't know if the truth even matters anymore in this world because I'm just one person in a sea of people. You know? But it is my divine right and my divine duty to make sure that I stay safe and just expose the truth. And that's all I try to do when I make my videos and my blogs is just tell the truth. I'm not involved in any illegal activity whatsoever, and I am being harassed through organized stalking, gang stalking, sensitization methods everywhere I go. It's a direct result of what I know, and you would not believe what I know. So I just want to say my hat's off to any and every uncorrupted police officer and firefighter. But as far as the ones who are engaging in gang stalking, well... I have about as much respect for you as I do when I pick my nose and flick a booger across the room. <laughs> I gotta go. Anyways, I just wanted to make this a little fast thing. I'm sorry I got goofy, but I don't know. I'm in a pretty good mood today. You know, I'm watching my birdies, eating, you know, just, just, I'm hiking in California. I'm trying to save for a mobile home. I'm gang stalked along all my routes. I'm even gang stalked here. <laughs> they literally have people get up on the sidewalk and will run by and say gang stalking. And right now in my possession, I have over 600 audio files of that tactic being utilized around me along all my routes every single day, everywhere I have went for the last year and a half since I've been in San Diego. So again, I want to say my hat's off to you, and I salute any uncorrupted police officers or firefighters out there who are not involved in gang stalking, and the ones that are, well, I want to show you something. I got fungus on this toe, okay? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I have as much love for you as the fungus that's beneath my toe. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I'm in San Diego, and check this out. I want you to listen to this. Committed by the CIA or the IRS or any other group, the NSA or the criminal activities that go with governments and religion, you're considered conspiracy theorists or you consider. Oh, and the reason why I'm, part of the reason why I'm playing you this is because I've even been gaslighted in churches out here in San Diego. Hmm. Listen to this.
sacred the responsibility they have to us, but they don't. The mainstream news has finally decided that, well, now we have to open up and admit that, uh, you know, the government, of course, has been aggressive in their airtight secrecy with regards to matters. And, it, and um, you know, they kept it from the general public, but now they can't anymore. It's obvious because what? They became attacked, too. As we predicted on this program, we said, who are the first to go in a dirty war? You got it. People in the media, artists, yep, they're the ones that are targeted first, then the bankers, then, then we go to government officials, and then the police fight it out. It's happening, guys, and this is it. And he's true, too. You know, you can go to Google and type in organized stalking or gang stalking and how they're going after artists. And I want to say this to you. Any corrupt, uncorrupted police officer out there, watch your back. Watch your back. Because these syndicated cops, they will turn on you in a flat dime and wreck every aspect of your life. They'll cause you to be fired. Make no mistake about it. So I'm here today to tell you. See, I have enough sound. I, you know, they want... They try to make targeted individuals think that all police officers are involved in these crimes. Yes, because of the non-stop harassment that we experience along all of our routes and even by different police officers on different occasions. That in turn makes the target feel like everybody's doing this to them. It's, not, it's nothing but crafted, organized, synchronized harassment as a result of tracking up a target. And then they want to try and change a target's world view to make them believe that everybody's out to gang stalk them. That's bullshit. Excuse my language. So I want to tell you something right now, okay? Watch your back. If you are an unsyndicated police officer, watch your back, okay? Because these syndicated cops, they will turn on you and yours in a flat-out minute, okay? So that's the only thing I want to say. And, uh, all right, I'm going to go. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm a targeted individual in San Diego, California, and I am not involved in any illegal or criminal activity whatsoever. And my email accounts and my YouTube videos are being watched. I already know for a fact. Now, listen to this. The other day I uploaded a video concerning proof of the organized stalking that was happening around me at UCSD. And within 90 seconds of that video being uploaded, I got a copyright notice concerning it. The YouTube title I haven't even been, hadn't, even been, haven't, hadn't even been put on it yet. And then I get a, a copyright notice that the song that was playing in the background, the person who published the song for the artist... Uh, 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 filed a copyright notice within 90 seconds of me uploading it. Now, how did YouTube be able to even go in and be able to distinguish what song it was because the recording is so bad, you can barely understand what song it is, let alone had them notify the, uh, the people that published the song for this artist and then turn around and have them or YouTube contact me concerning copyright infringement within 90 seconds. If you don't think that the government is not safe, go to Google and type in organized stalking or gang stalking and cyber surveillance. This is the YouTube account that's got a lot of the evidence that I'm being gang stalked. And these are the methods and tactics they use in order to shut down an account that's holding the evidence. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I just wanted to make this video because I think it's only fair that targeted individuals, if they're making videos and they're saying that the entire San Diego Police Department is involved in the gang stalking of me, that's not fair. Okay? So I'm just going to say that I already, I already know that certain specific ones are, but I'm not saying that they all are. Okay? I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I made this video. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to flat out say it. I'm making this video in memory of Jen, uh, Jeremy Henwood, an unsyndicated police officer who was a good guy, who died in line of duty on August 9, 2011.